In this film, we intend to illustrate our beliefs about young children and how this influences our view that school is a democratic place. We will show some examples of how children are active participants in their daily experiences of school and that school is not simply done to them. We believe the ways in which our children make decisions about many different aspects of school is quite unique. Our approach to learning in the early years at the British International School of Houston embraces the immense natural curiosity of children, their limitless imagination and powerful learning. Here, in our purpose-built and constantly evolving early learning spaces, we provide the highest quality care and the most effective education for children from three to five years. Our approach to the education of young children recognises the potential and ability to communicate their understandings, inner thoughts and feelings using many different languages as ways of expression. These may include words, movements, painting, drawing, sculpture, shadow play, music, dramatic play, reaching beyond the dominant conceptions of language and empowering children at the different stages of their development to demonstrate, share and extend their learning supported by the skillful interaction of adults. We hold the image of the child as possessing innate curiosity to wonder and to ask questions. A child who searches for meaning and interconnectedness of their surroundings and experiences. Through the scaffolding of the English Early Years Foundation Stage Framework and inspired by the Reggio Emilia approach, we endeavour to foster children's learning through the development of all their languages and by creating an environment to support this way of thinking, learning and developing at a pace appropriate for every child. Our image of the child influences the view we have of children and is present in all that we do as educators. It can be seen in the way we present materials, the way we maintain our spaces and even the food we serve. Each choice springs from a different understanding of the child's place in the classroom and the teacher's role. By examining and declaring your own values about children and education, as well as your view of the child, you are making a commitment to manifest these values in your work, in the projects you do, in the spaces you create, in the words you use with your children, when a decision must be made regarding our school in any capacity, it must be in keeping with the stated values or the values must be revised. We believe the child is strong, powerful, rich in potential, driven by the power of wanting to grow and nurtured by adults who take this drive towards growth seriously. Through our working groups we give value to the understanding uh, of learning groups and the learning outcomes of the group as well as individuals. We give value to the learning dynamics, accomplishments and context of the learning group and this shapes decisions that are made. The relationships, subjectivity and interdependence of the children and adults are very important. Children have a desire to interact with challenging questions and inquiries of real importance to themselves, to their community and to the world. Very young children have the capacity to think about big questions and are continuously making theories, whether we ask them to or not. Elevating the scale of children's work from isolated tasks to authentic, significant projects that matter in their lives and communities increases the probability for meaningful learning. Children can spot the difference between meaningful, authentic learning situations and contrived situations that serve only the purpose of acquiring a predetermined skill. Our aim is to stimulate independent thinking, deep and complex questioning and problem solving. We seek to uncover the children's beliefs, assumptions or theories about the way the physical or social world works. It goes beyond identifying the children's interests. Our analysis attempts to reveal the reasons behind the children's interest. We encourage the children to talk about what they know or explore objects or materials. From our observations, we infer what might be the children's theories. This becomes a co-constructed curriculum. The teachers form a community of learners with the children and the parents and the other teachers. The curriculum becomes child originated and teacher framed. Or it could also become teacher provoked and then child engaged, where the teacher engages the children's minds and interests in the proposal. All the while we are studying and learning with the children and the children design their future inquiries. It's just because the singing mermaid has sparkles on her tail in my book. I have the singing mermaid book.
um, no, but it is my daddy's favourite colour, so I did it for my daddy. So nice, you're such a nice girl. By valuing children in this way, educators put much more emphasis on really listening to children. Listening being a metaphor for the educator's attempt to gain as real an understanding as possible of children and their learning processes, being flexible and paying attention to the way of learning of the children. When our youngest children are literally listened to and given the time and space to express themselves, we are faced with children capable of doing so much in in a more complex and abstract way than children are generally given credit for. Um, the building that I built, oh, well, it is sometimes now lots, lots of different buildings that connect to this are going to connect to a different bridges and that's what we are going to do just now. It was playtime before we could even do it so we just had a plan. I just came here so, so I can finish it. I built a, a dinosaur animal food machine. The food are in one day again, it's going to be over. When the food is already there, it opens the cage, the food goes and then the animals eat it. We wish to help the children discover the immeasurable richness provided by good food, eaten in good company, because in our early year centre too, eating means health, pleasure and being together. The look and feel of our dining area is important. Deciding where to sit at snack and meal times is of the utmost importance to the children, as it is a way of affirming friendships and developing relationships with each other, the food and the space. They often move amongst the tables, discovering different variations for seating arrangements, sometimes resulting in great joy and kindness, and at other times leading to conflict, tension and negotiation. There are opportunities to participate in daily activities that involve the organisation of complex sequences, such as preparing the tables for snack and setting the tables for lunch. The children created a dining area with rainbow tablecloths, decorations and placemats. They agreed on ways of being and systems to allow to follow in order for lunch and snack times to be joyful occasions. The What is Beautiful exhibition was a culmination of the children's inquiry into understanding how we express ourselves. This was an inquiry into the ways in which we discover and express ideas, feelings, nature, culture, beliefs and values. The children considered the ways in which we reflect on, extend and enjoy our creativity and our appreciation of the aesthetic. Throughout the year, the children have been offered plentiful opportunities to explore and express their hundred languages as their many fonts of self-expression. These experiences provide a foundation for their awareness of the many different forms of media that they can use for self-expression. Teacher provocations and questions were used to prompt the children to share their ideas about how they can express themselves and communicate effectively. Little by little the display boards came together, bringing to life each narration of what is beautiful that was translated into the children's own expressive languages. The exhibition opened up insights and knowledge into the strategies, creativity and imaginative qualities of the children by letting their playful, sensitive and passionate ways of seeing give direction to ours and amaze us. The children were so excited that their families were coming to see their projects. They were literally bouncing with joy. I was deeply touched by the respect afforded by the parents towards their children. I sensed that so many parents were surprised and charmed by the processes the children had followed and the quality of the work created. There was an atmosphere full of heartwarming appreciation and quite emotive responses from the adults. It was a remarkable, it was a remarkable afternoon as the children proudly shared with their parents all that they had achieved not only in what they themselves had created, but simply overflowing with praise and pleasure for the work of their friends as the children showed their parents the entire exhibition. I genuinely feel that the work the children presented to us clearly demonstrated how capable and competent they are and the amazing capacity they have for combining emotion, empathy and aesthetics.
So, we believe in sharing ownership of the school experience with the children, whereby we collaboratively make meaningful decisions that impact the course of learning and living day by day. Our youngest children have a sense of agency and a belief that they have important thinking to contribute. Our teachers trust the innate capabilities of our children and share the learning process with them. Because once I saw a mini rainbow, the sprinklers made it. Sometimes, sometimes we have sprinklers on at school and I saw them when I was walking by on. Because, because we didn't want them to scratch or because we wanted the table to be beautiful and the table not to be scratching.